Alright guys, this is Spider-Man 2002, the official game. I'm going to try to do a Let's Play on Spider-Man 1 and 2 before Spider-Man PS4 comes out in September, so I got like a month and a half to do that. So there's going to be a lot of Spider-Man content for me in the next uh, month or two. And uh, this was my very first ever PS2 game. I actually got pictures when I was opening up my presents on my birthday. Got my PS2 in this game. Today I'll never forget. This is one of my favorite games of all time. And uh, let's look at options real quick. Make sure I got everything set up right. One vibration off. Let's see what we have in specials. Oh yeah, cheat codes. You can play as like Mary Jane, the Green Goblin. I don't remember the cheats. I think I remember the Mary Jane cheat. It's like girl next door or something like that. Which I'm not going to do because I want to play as Spider-Man on Mary Jane. But, you know, that's a pretty fun cheat to do. So there's training, which I might actually do. Here, I'll come back to that. Let's see, we got the gallery. What's this? Oh, the cutscenes. You can view the cutscenes in the game. Alright, so I guess I have to unlock these while playing the game. Alright, let's do some training first. Um... Let's do some uh, some basic training. See how this goes. Greetings, welcome to the tutorial. Yeah, I know you want to get on with things, beat up the bad guys, do the whole superhero thing, blah blah blah. Well, everyone's got to start somewhere. Trust me, when you're hip deep in trouble later on, you'll be glad you went through this. All right, now let's get started. Now get the gum out of your ears and listen good. Touch the question mark directly in front of you. Bruce Campbell, the best chin in Hollywood. Good to see that you can follow basic instructions. Now, these question marks will teach you how to use your powers. Check out the compass. Right. Your compass will point straight the towards your next compass. objective. trusty compass, I like it. Up on the compass means forward to you. You follow me? Well, stop following me or I'll have you arrested. <laughs> Bruce Campbell is awesome. This should bring him back in the next Spider-Man game, to be honest. Which is now not going to happen, of course, is but the height meter, that'd be cool. Not to be confused with the width meter. It lets you know how much higher or lower you are from the next objective. Now, you are the little red dot, and your target is blue. So now's your chance to self-test for color blindness. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, using the compass and height meter together, you should be able to find your next objective, no matter where it is. Go ahead, give it a shot. I'll wait. But not for long. <laughs> Bruce Campbell is so fucking cool, dude. This is incredible. Am I really doing this? Well, yes, you're you easily are. impressed, aren't you? You haven't even gotten to the good stuff yet. Ooh, that's some view, huh? Okay, not really, but hey, it's just training, right? Now, to rotate the camera, push left or right on the right thumbstick. You can recenter the camera behind you by pushing down on the right thumbstick. All right. Pretty simple so far. Okay, the topic at hand is web swinging. But let's get one thing straight first. Do not, I repeat, do not try this at home. Your house isn't nearly tall enough. <laughs> Got it? Okay. Now that the public service message is out of the way, press the right trigger button to start web swinging. If you need to floor it, hold down the right trigger button while you swing. You'll go faster, sure, but you won't be able to turn with beam, so watch it. Web swing over to your next objective. Use your compass and height meter to find it. All right, let's try this. Yahoo! Hey, king of the world, don't let it go to your head, okay? Hooray for you, you're swinging. But sooner or later, you're probably gonna wanna drop. Here's a little party favor for you, a combo power-up. Try to locate as many of these babies as you can. 
Each time you get one, you'll unlock a new web power or combo to add to your list of attacks. For those of you playing along at home, that's a good thing. Oh, and for those of you with short-term memory issues, which would be most of you, <laughs> you can check out a list of the combos you've unlocked in the pause menu. All right. I just want to say, like, I'm playing this on Xbox 360. It's backwards compatible with Xbox 360, if you guys didn't know. And sometimes you'll see, like, some weird glitches, like, on the bottom or top of the screen. It's only there for a few seconds, so hopefully it doesn't bother you too much. Just wanted to uh, throw it out there. Old fashioned justice. Throw a punch with the X button and kick with the B button. You can also do more powerful combo attacks by quickly pressing different buttons. You can also confuse your friends by pressing every button at the same time. <laughs> All right, kiddo, let's see what you got. What you doing up here, pestle neck? The thugs in this game is like hilarious from what I remember. And I gotta say, this I can't game. Believe how much stronger I am! This is too cool. Well, good for you. If you want to throw some more goons around, knock on the door by facing it and pressing the punch button. I'm gonna grab a ham sandwich. Whenever you're done beating bad guys up, follow your compass and hike near. All right, I said it once and I'll say it again. Bruce Campbell is the fucking man. But I was gonna say this game doesn't look that bad on Xbox or Xbox 360, I should say. And this game's pretty like cheap, like it's really dirt cheap. It's like three or four bucks online. If you guys want to pick it up and play it. Alright, so let's web sling over here. Whoa! <sighs> that was a good sandwich. Okay, so here you are on the side of a building. Your next marker is up, so you could crawl, but I know you. You want fast, you want it now. Bing, 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 bing. Well, I'm yeah, gonna pretty let much. you in on a little secret. If you press the left trigger while crawling on a wall, you'll web zip in the direction you're crawling. Huh? Who's your daddy? <laughs> uh, oh, shit. Right, let's try this. But wait, there's more. If you press the left trigger while you're running, You'll web zip in the direction you're moving. Wowzer. Okay. Now, if you're standing still and you press the left trigger, you'll web zip straight up as long as there's something to stick to above you. Huh. Let's try this. Well, you're almost done. I'm getting all weepy eyed just thinking about it. So let's get a little fancy, shall we? If you hold the Y button and quickly press the left trigger, you can suspend yourself from a web line and slowly raise or lower yourself. This is a sneaky way to check out unfamiliar areas. All right. Oh, shit, I messed up. Shit. The yo-yo, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that was a pretty full day, huh? So look, if you need to go over this tutorial, or if you just plain miss me, which, <laughs> who could blame you, you can access basic training from the menu anytime you want. So, follow your compass and height meter to the exit. Good luck. I said, good luck. Yes, I hear you, Bruce good Campbell. Means goodbye. All right, I'm going. Sheesh. Ben, 
is a different story. This is supposed to be the Skull's territory. Help I'll find me! Uncle Ben's killer if I have to go through every one of the Skulls to do it. Alright, so I don't care what anyone says. Toby Maguire is my Spider-Man. I don't care what anyone says, man. Alright, so... Okay, help this lady with her purse over here, I think. Ah, help me! I'm coming. Is she over here? Let's see if I remember a lot of the, uh... Combat moves in this game. Don't worry about it, lady. I gotta go. Wait. Before you go, I lost my purse on one of the rooftops around on here. On a different rooftop? Yes. Different from this one? Yes. Are you serious? Are you taking some kind of tour of city rooftops? Yes. Okay. Whatever. I'll find your purse for you. Thank you. Alright, so like I said before, I'm playing this on the Xbox 360. It's backwards compatible with the original Xbox. Well, for some games, not every game. And uh, sometimes you'll see some glitches on the top or bottom of the screen. It's only going to be there for a few seconds, so don't don't stress out too much if it's bothering you. And I gotta say, like these were some groundbreaking graphics back in like 2002 or whenever this game came out, 2001, 2002. In town. <laughs> and these freaking goons—they're hilarious. The some there. The comments they say. Should be another one. Here he is. What's with the ghetto? They didn't know anything, but I'm just getting started. If my memory's correct, there should be a uh, Treyarch sign, the developers. Yeah, there we go. The Treyarch building. Let's get a uh, Get a good view of it. Look at that. I wonder if uh, Vonderhaar and the boys are in there. I gotta say, like, the Black Ops series is really my favorite, uh, some of my favorite Call of Duty games. Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3. And I'm, uh, super excited for Black Ops 4, which is coming out in October. That's, just, that's besides the point. I'm playing Spider-Man, not Call of Duty. That's what Br Bruce Campbell has to say. Tip for when you're on the side of a building. If you press the zip line button, you'll zip in the direction you're prone. Of course, you'd know this if you played the basic tutorial, but I guess you're just cooler <laughs> than the rest of us. Alright, where's the goons? Aha. Uh, I thought there was two of them. Guess not. It's something I like to do, like back in the day when I beat the game, I like to go back and use cheat codes so you can play as like Green Goblin or Mary Jane. Just go around like web sling as a uh, Mary Jane. It's quite funny actually. I might do that after I beat the game. Because it's freaking hilarious. Hey, you! Shit, does he have a gun? Oh, yeah, he does. I think I can ignore that goon right there and just go over here.
I like how his like his webs just stick to nothing. Like it, it sticks to the clouds. That's always kind of funny to me. God, he's not dead. There we go. A carjacker killed an old man earlier today. The killer's a skull. Where is he? I can't tell you. He killed him. What makes you think I won't? Go to the warehouse. So I'll take this. You see how like his webs just stick to nothing, it sticks to the clouds. <laughs> oh I gotta find that lady's purse. What am I doing? Forgot all about that. Should be over here, right? And I gotta say, like, I love the human spider costume. Like, if I was Peter Parker, I probably would have stuck to it, you know? There's a purse. I better hurry so I don't lose the trail of your killer. She up here? Yeah. Here's your purse back. Thank you so much. This city could use more masked vigilantes uh, like you. If you say so. Try to stay off rooftops from now on. A lot of gang members seem to hang out up here. I will. Thanks again. And she just disappears. Nice. All right, off to the warehouse. There's Vonderhaar and the boys in there, the Treyarch building. Hopefully, Black Ops Four doesn't suck. are closing in. They can have whatever's left after I'm done. Huh. What's this door doing open? Man, people gotta be more careful. The cops could show up at any time. Alright, so we're in the warehouse, trying to catch Uncle Ben's killer. Let's see what Bruce Campbell has to say. Psst. You see those heavily shadowed areas? Whenever you're in a shadowed spot like that, you become invisible to the bad guys. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> see, can I pick up this? New combo X B B. Backflip kick, nice. I have to remember that. So it's X B B. <laughs> Does he see me? Enough silly business. What's that? What's that? Oh. 
Stealth failed, shit. I tried, it was getting kind of boring, you know? I want to engage, not play back. Alright, there should be more. No, that's apparently it. See what's back here. Oh my god. You beat those guys up? Embarrassing. Yeah, take this. Back off, ugly. Hey, you. Alright, that should do it. Just for giggles, press the punch button near an object to try picking it up. Press punch right, so again. How are we gonna figure that out? Don't have time to pick it up? Too lazy? No problem. The kick button will launch an item without picking it up. There. Was that simple enough for you? Yeah, pretty simple, or Bruce. I play the whole game for you. Alright, if my memory is correct. There should be a secret room over here. You found a secret area. If you hold down the Y button, you can web up an enemy, stopping him in his tracks. But he'll break out sooner or later, though, so don't get too comfy. Thank you, Bruce. It's not letting me do my uh Shoot him. No, no, Oh wait. nice, I didn't even know I can do that. There we go, I was trying to do that, that's why I was staying still like that. Is that it? Die! Yeah, I, I remember that was going to happen. I didn't know when, though. See a vent cover on the ground, try looking up. Duh. See, chances are there's an open air vent overhead. Try looking for air vents and ceilings or walls when you're having trouble figuring out where to go next. I can't let anything stop me. I have to find a way to shut off the power so I can get through. It's a shame we don't really see uh, Tobey Maguire in a lot of movies nowadays. Okay, now just in case you don't know already, you can activate a console or a switch by standing next to it, facing it, and pressing the punch button. Go ahead, give it a shot. You never know what might happen. No, seriously, go ahead. It'll be fine. Go ahead. Like, Tobey was in that one movie with uh, Leo that's Leo DiCaprio, I can't remember the name of it. That should do it. But that was the last good movie he was in. 
also his performance in Brothers with uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. Like he should have won an Oscar for that shit. Uh, fantastic performance in that movie. If you've never seen Brothers, definitely check it out. All right, so I went the wrong way. Crap. Still have the uh, all the buttons mixed up. The more I play this game, the more I'll get used to it. So. Taking a fuse out of the control panel. I'll have to get that back if I want to open that door. Who's that? Oh, you messed with the wrong guy. You shut your mouth. Or this boom box, whoever. Oh, I see you. What's with the get up? You ain't getting this fuse. Better take off while you still can. Easy to say that behind a locked door, coward. All right, come on, Spidey. Use your freaking Spidey strength and knock this shit down. Ah, tragic. Guess I gotta go back here. Oh, there we go, open vent. Didn't see that. I don't have time for this. I've gotta find the switch to shut off the power. Shit. Ah, here we go. That's where I need to be. Now I just need to find a way to get there. So that takes care of that. Now to get that fuse. So we go back this way. See, is it this one or is it the one in here? I don't want to clamp the wall, Spidey. Let's try this one. There he is. Hey, you! <clears throat> I'm gonna tear you to pieces. Crap. I didn't want to do that. I messed up. Dang, he refused to die. Let's see what's in here. Oh, the control room. This is where the fuse goes. Now I've got you. So I'm trying to remember like who's the first villain I face. I think it might be a shocker. Not sure though. Looks like the freak wants to oh. You messed with the wrong guy. Not so tough now. Look huh? at you. You think you're pretty tough, huh? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> you could like ride on their backs and punch them in the face. Like I said, the more I play this game, the more I'll learn all the controls. Alright, so it should be doing the first boss fight coming up, which is Uncle Ben's Killer.
like it says on the screen. And this game kind of reminds me of uh, Spider-Man 2000 and uh, Spider-Man Enter Electro a little bit. Alright, do I not go up here? Looks like there's some audio issues too. And like I said, I'm playing this on Xbox 360. If I had the original Xbox, I'll, I would play it on there, but I don't. So there's going to be like some glitches and some audio issues, unfortunately. Alright, so let's go down this one first. I need to take out that guy with the gun. I should be able to do more damage with these, uh, I guess, spider web fists. I guess that's how you say it. If you press the right thumbstick button, you'll enter look around mode. In this mode, a targeting reticle will appear, which you can aim with the right thumbstick. When the reticle turns green, you're in zip range. Press the left trigger to zip to the point you're looking at, or press the right thumbstick button again to exit look around mode. Shit. I want to look around in there. No, I didn't want to do that. Oh well, fuck it. Let's go find that killer. Our new combo, B, A, B. Nice. I might come in handy. Looks like the freak wants to play. I need some help. God, there's like a dozen of them. Alright, so I have the key. Was that unlock a door? Oh, duh. What am I saying? Alright, so I'm gonna look around for a little bit, see if I can find any health, which is right here. Shit, I missed. Let's see what uh, Bruce Campbell has to say. The best chin in Hollywood. You know? Nothing's more embarrassing than getting whacked by some cheeseball thug you lost track of. But, if you press the white button, you lock the camera view to your enemy so you can keep track of where he is. You can then move the right thumbstick to switch between multiple enemies. Ah, so many buttons to press. And I gotta say, like, Bruce Campbell has to be, like, the crimson chin. 100%. I don't need that. Saw some web fluid over here. 
just trying to get everything because I know the first boss battle not the first villain but the first well not the first super villain but the first uh, boss battles are coming up which is uh, Uncle Ben's killer alright so I should be good to go alright let's do this Is he in here? There he is. Oh shit, I didn't think he saw me. Son of a bitch. Is there any health? Please be some health. Shit, I don't see anything. Where is he? Oh, I'm gonna try my best. I'm probably gonna die. Son of a bitch. Where is he? Shit. Yeah, I'm probably gonna die. Shit. Alright, so I desperately need some health right now he doesn't see me on the ceiling so I have time to look around oh <gasps> health I have to go for this I do not want to fall off and get my ass freaking blown blown into pieces All right, it wasn't much but that helps now let's go kick his ass where is he? Oh my god. Get back here. These legs are so scared. You were so brave when you shot a defenseless old man. No, you you stay back i'm warning you you psycho i could have stopped you at the fight promoter's office i could have saved uncle ben <laughs> these are the years when a man becomes the man he's going to be for the rest of his life just be careful who you change into you're feeling redhead is Mary Jane Watson. The guy is Harry Osborne, my best friend. They stuck with me after Uncle Ben died. Harry's dad, Norman, was great, too. He even let Harry and me stay in one of the apartments he owned after he graduated and moved into the city. I got a job with the Daily Bugle, taking pictures of myself. Life sure is strange sometimes. And no matter how much you want to hold on to a moment, you can't stop time from moving on. Slocum has given Oscorp a week to prove that we can develop a working serum. Or we are going to lose the contract to Quest Labs, given how much we have invested in this research. Losing the contract could bankrupt Oscorp. I 
I can only assume that Spider-Man relates to our problem in some way. <clears throat> yes, uh, Mr. Osborne. As that video showed, Spider-Man possesses all the attributes our project hopes to create. We hypothesized that he has augmented spider DNA in his system and feels certain that an analysis of his blood will enable us to complete our serum. We can modify the hunter killers to track this DNA signature and capture Spider-Man. Do it. Well, if I want to get paid this week, I'd better come up with some photos for Jonah. The city's been quiet, so I guess I'm gonna have to settle for some aerial acrobatics. I can get in some practice while I'm at it. Uh, we ditched the uh, human spider costume, which was, I think, pretty badass. And I gotta say, like, I've watched some top 10 Spider-Man, like top 10 Spider-Man games of all time. There's a few of those videos on YouTube, and I was watching a couple. Uh, barely anyone mentions this game, Spider-Man 2002, and I don't know why. Uh, this game is pretty great from what I remember. Uh, they don't really mention this game or Spider-Man Enter Electro, so... You know, I, I don't know what people... I mean, everyone has a different opinion. I should start with my web breaking. If I jump while I'm swinging, I can totally change direction and... A couple of nice shots, but nothing JJ's gonna pay top dollar for. I need to get a little fancier. That target I set up should do the trick. I'll just lock onto it and swing past it a couple of times. Alright, so it should be down here. But like I said, like everyone has a a different opinion on on everything to be honest. But in my personal opinion, Spider this game and Enter Electro definitely should be at least in the top eight. Alright, so what am I supposed to Swing by. Huh. That was okay. But the shots need more action. This time, after I lock onto the target, I'll shoot. Not bad. That should do it. Alright. Those are pretty trash photos, if you ask me, but. Shots for JJ. Now to get back to the bugle, collect my money, and get my rent paid. Uh oh. I don't know what that thing is, but something tells me it isn't friendly. So, how am I supposed to destroy these things? All right, so I'm gonna need some more like web fluid. Ah, huh, speak of the devil. I also like how this game kind of sort of follows the same storyline as the movie. Obviously, they gotta add in some other shit and make it different. But it's, you know, kind of the same thing. Should be the last one. Whew. That's the last of them. But who's safe from? 